<laughs> hey, welcome back to TMX Brick Notes. My name is Martin. Thank you very much for stopping by to check out vlog number 47. Very excited am I tonight. I can't even talk straight. The Chicago Cubs won. Cubs win. Yes. All right. I am a lifelong Cub fan. I grew up at my grandparents' house watching Cubs games all summer long. Remained a Cubs fan even though they've never won the World Series. They've never made it to the World Series. You probably know all that stuff, but I'm sorry. That's not Lego stuff. I want to talk about Lego stuff. I just want to let you know I'm super excited about that. I am a big sports fan if you didn't know. Okay, on to the Lego stuff and the big question for you today. Now that you've seen, hopefully you've seen all over the internet, Brick Bank, the newest modular, the pictures were released this week. It is set number 10251, 2300 parts, $170 is what it should be in January 2016. I'm going to ask you the question, how many Lego modular sets are there? And I don't want to make this a trick question, so I am removing the um, Toys R Us versions, those miniature versions. I'm removing that um, the really cool uh, mini version that Lego did of the like the first six modulars. I'm just talking the big ones, the ones that have been going for $100 plus. How many are there now? And as a bonus, which one is your favorite? So I'm going to answer that question, how many at least. Oh, and my favorite at the end of the video. Okay, what else is going on? Well, look at this. I found this right here. This is the store calendar from, yes, 2013. So from two years ago, their newest set back here was the Winter Village Market. It's just a little throwback here. Grand store opening in Utah. There's all oh, this cargo terminal. That was a set that I got that's awesome. Tower of Orn Think. Is that sold out? I think it might be now. Kind of sad, but pretty cool stuff that just showed up in the middle of uh, nowhere for me. But what else has been going on? Brick films. I've been watching so many brick films lately. If you didn't catch it, I did a review for all of the September brick films that I saw on YouTube. And even today, when I'm searching brick films for October, because I'm going to do this on a monthly basis, I came across some brick films that I missed in September. So I'm going to figure out the best way that I can to kind of, uh, if I catch those, showcase them in the October review. And if you know of any that I missed, go ahead and let me know. I'd love to add them in, and I'll give you credit for that. Uh, the Cubs won, by the way. Did you know that? Yes, they did. Okay, so uh, a few people here. The Action Brick. I wanted to point out that the Action Brick, in a response to one of my previous vlogs um, about the Series 1 CMF Zombie, said the demand for the Zombie uh, may drop now that there's a whole wave of monster CMFs. Very good point there. Brick Revolution, uh, another response to the nurse there. He said that the nurse shot up in price after the Research Institute was released, so I didn't realize that. Crazy Bricks. In response to, I believe, a previous vlog talking about sun damage to LEGO, said that in his experience, sun damage has actually hurt the minifig arms, like the sockets and the legs. So that's interesting. They get loose. Now, I've noticed that I do have older um, minifigs that do get loose, especially I have one on my keychain, and that's just getting very loose, but I'm sure that's more so from having it in my pocket all the time. Okay, I want to go through some comments about my city. I'm going to make it easier to read here. Brick Ace, talking about the building that I hadn't given a name for yet, said it could be a game hall with poker pool, darts, and a library, and loved the music for Modern Bricks Carpet Ride. So if you watched the October update, Modern Bricks floating through there, so thank you. Bricking it up, liked the blueprints and the stage water for the fire hydrant. Again, more comments about my city. Happy Blues Place enjoyed modern brick flying on the carpet. So there we go. A few people enjoyed that. Brick Revolution uh, likes the angle of the restaurant doors. So that's a corner restaurant. So the doors are at a 45 degree angle. K Fall Kid just quoted, Oh, the chicken is coming. So K Fall Kid was getting in a chicken fight. Oliver Dawson said, Brown and green could be a hairdresser. So Love these suggestions for the storefronts. I think I might have told you I'm going to go with a hardware store there. Brick Wizard 59 said it could be a Subway. That's like my favorite place to eat. Footlong Meatball Sub. Although I probably shouldn't eat that much anymore. Uh, TF Bricks said it could be a bookstore. 
actually, that's almost what Tiffany and I were deciding to do with it. We were talking about what it could be, and Bookstore was one of the main contenders. Bubba Bricks, Nintendo. I liked Excite Bike as well. What is your favorite Nintendo game? I actually was able to hook up Nintendo to my PC, and I got a controller with a USB cord, and I got a whole bunch of games. Hopefully that's not illegal. I don't, I don't think it is, but I, I played Tech Mobile, Super Tech Mobile, Baseball Stars. Yeah, sports, my favorite. Um, on to new stuff here. Some new ideas. I don't think I'm saying this right, but came across a new channel called Lagonius. Read it on the screen. Lagonius. They also have a website, and it's it's like a comic book style. They're releasing like a new thing every single day. I think they've been doing this for a very long time. They said they're on mock pages. It's really, really cool stuff. Kind of a fantasy sci-fi world that they've created. And I wrote a comment to them, and they wrote back, and they said that they actually they, they build all these sets and usually tear them down and then build new stuff. So they're doing awesome stuff out there. Okay, let's get on to some LEGO cities that I've seen on YouTube. There's five that I've already talked about before, but they had new updates, and then one new one. The new one is Danny's Bricks. Uh, they're doing city update number two. They've got multiple trains, a beach, a large area. Again, links for all these are in the description. The Happy Jawa. It's uh, He's actually doing a new city. He's got a whole new layout, which I thought was really cool because he used digital designer to do the layout. That's one thing that I like to do, whether it's my city or buildings. I like to design it first before I just dig in and start building. Lego Rubric, city update number eight. They've got a new tree. They've got a tunnel that goes through the townhomes. And their mountain is very cool where the haunted house sits. Lego Los Angeles has a new October 2015 update. Alex Nunes has a new update where he's showing off his seaport and his train line. It's amazing. Like he moved his whole train, all of his trains into a whole different room in his basement. You'll, you can check it out. You'll, you'll know what I'm talking about once you see it. A Fall Man is changing things up or talking about it. He hasn't done it yet, but he's talking about what he wants to do to change his Lego city. And now on to the answer to the question. Yes, that's it for today. How many modular sets are there now, including the brick bank? There are 11. There are 11 modular buildings now. That is incredible. It started back in 2007 with Cafe Corner. I'm going to read them off for you. It moved on to Green Grocer, Market Street, Fire Brigade, Grand Emporium, Pet Shop, Town Hall, Palace Cinema, Parisian Restaurant, Detective's Office, and Brick Bank. My favorite is probably the Detective's Office. And I have to say probably because I don't actually own any of them and I haven't ever put any of them together. Now, I have purchased them in the past, uh, multiple sets in the past three years, but all of which were to part out and sell. Yeah, I know that's pretty unfortunate. Kevin F. would probably shoot me right now, but yes, um, lots of great pieces in all of these sets, and the new one looks like it has a ton of great pieces. I like the pet shop too, but what's your favorite? I would love to know. And um, I think that's it for today's video. Thank you very much for stopping by. You can check me out on tmxbricknotes.com, and again, every Wednesday with a new vlog where I talk about Lego, and if the Cubs keep winning, I'll keep talking about the Cubs. I'll catch up with y'all next time. See ya! So Bonza, I got this new Vegemite stuff and I heard it's super good. Do you want to try it? No. But it's got B vitamins in it. Does the B stand for bamboo? Uh, maybe. Hmm.